This podcast has been brought to you by Seekers Guidance, the global Islamic seminary. Help us spread the light of prophetic guidance to millions around the world by becoming a monthly supporter. Make a small donation at seekersguidance.org forward slash donate. For as little as $10 a month, you can help people find life-changing guidance. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, alladhi bi ni'matihi tatimmu salihat. Allahumma rabbana laka alhamd ala ma na'amta alina min ni'matin la tuhsa ya rabbil alameen. Allahumma rabbana laka alhamd. ومن أعظم النعماء لك من أعظم النعماء قولي لك الحمد one of the du'as of the righteous and one of our beloved teachers Sheikh Faid Saeed frequently says this du'a that اللهم ربي لك الحمد that O Allah, O my Lord, yours is all praise and of the greatest of blessings that I can praise you for is that you've given me the ability to say Alhamdu. I mean, Alhamdulillah. That is a tremendous blessing if we were to think about it. When we say Alhamdulillah, we should reflect on the tremendousness of what this means. There, because when we say Alhamdu, all praise. The Al here has two meanings. It's either all praise is Allah's or praise itself belongs to Allah. Right? These are the two most common possibilities of when we say Alhamdu. That all praise, all conceivable praise, because you can either praise the Creator or you can praise creation. But even when you praise creation, that a friend took you out, so you're appreciative of that. But that friend is Allah's creation. And everything that has connected you with your friend, and the wealth that they acquired, and all the means, they're all from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So all praise is due to Allah. But there's a third meaning of Alhamdu, which is, which praise of Allah? One of the great imams of Islamic spirituality, Sidi Abu al-Abbas al-Mursi, he asked one of the greatest grammarians of his time, who happened to be a student of his. He asked, Abu al-Abbas al-Mursi asked the grammarian, that the Al, the definitive particle, Al, in Alhamdu, what kind of Al is this? So the grammarian said, well, according to us grammarians, it's either categorical, praise itself belongs to Allah, or it is encompassing, istighraq, all praise is Allah's. And the meanings are similar. So Abu al-Abbas al-Mursi was silent, this great spiritual master, the inheritor of the knowledge of Imam al-Shadili, radiallahu ta'ala anhu. So the grammarian asked the spiritual master, what do you have to say, Sayyidi? And Abu al-Abbas al-Mursi said that the Al here is referential. When we say Alhamdulillah, we are not saying I praise Allah. But we praise Allah with His praise for Himself. So, If you were to think about it, are you able to praise Allah as He deserves? Can you even conceive of what you're praising him for? And can you truly conceive of his glory and majesty and beauty and mercy? No. Okay. So when we say, Alhamdulillah, right? But yes, I am praising Allah, but I am praising Allah with his praise for himself. Just as when we send blessings on the Prophet Wasallam, Allah has commanded us, Sallu alayhi, send blessings upon him. But what do we say? Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. Oh Allah, you send your blessings on the Master Muhammad. Because where does our appreciation, our gratitude, our recognition of what the Prophet deserve compare to what Allah can grant him? Right? So when we say, Alhamdu, all praise is due to Allah. But the scholars point us to one thing. that, And that's why praise is a difficult way to translate hamd. Because hamd in 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 the understanding of the Qur'an and the Sunnah, hamd is not just with the tongue. Hamd 
is an action expressive of one's appreciation for the bestower of blessings. Right? And why is that important? Because sometimes something good happens. So we, we say Alhamdulillah. That is good. That is a part of hamd of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But whenever we conceive of a blessing, we should try whenever we say Alhamdulillah. Hamd with the tongue is only one third of the grateful praising of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is Alhamd. Right? So something good happens. There's the client that you're trying to close on. You closed on them. Sometimes we sell ourselves short. Why? We say Alhamdulillah. And then we move on. But then if we were to pause and ask that Faraz, you said Alhamdulillah with, the, with your tongue. But where was your heart in praising Allah? Were you appreciative with your heart? And then what did you do with your limbs to be expressive of your appreciation to Allah? So true praising of Allah is that we praise Allah with the tongue to say Alhamdulillah. But also... but. But then also pause for a second and appreciate, right? A appreciate the greatness of the one who's bestowed the blessing. And number three, to ask yourself, what can I do to be expressive of my appreciation? And which depends on what the thing is, right? What the thing is. Sometimes we could just say, okay, something good has happened, so I'm going to make some extra dhikr. Sometimes the right thing would be, I'll give some charity. Right? Sometime some facilitation happens, so you say, okay, I will do a particular good deed that you know you needed to do. Right? But to have complete gratitude. Right? Because true hamd, true praising of Allah is praise with the tongue, accompanied by the heart, and grateful action with one's limbs. That is complete praise that is complete praise right and the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam tells us man wajada khayran falyahmadillah whoever finds any good whatsoever let them have hamd of allah which is with the tongue with the heart and that grateful action that is full grateful praise of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the prophets were known as al hamadun the most praising of allah And our Prophet is Muhammad. He is the most praised and the most praising and the most praiseworthy. Right? No one praised Allah more with his tongue, with his heart, and with his actions than the Prophet. Right? So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to really embrace Alhamdulillah with the tongue, the heart, and the limbs. So it is grateful praise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us of al-hammadun, of the most praising, and of the shakirun, of the people who are truly grateful. Wa sallallahu wa sallam wa ala sayyidina wa nabina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Thank you for listening. This podcast was brought to you by Seekers Guidance, the global Islamic seminary. Visit seekersguidance.org to access reliable Islamic knowledge taught by qualified teachers. We offer a wide range of courses, podcasts, articles, and a world-class answer service. Support us in spreading free, reliable Islamic knowledge to millions around the world by becoming a monthly supporter. Visit seekersguidance.org forward slash donate and make a small monthly commitment today. Our beloved Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said, whoever guides someone to goodness will have a similar reward. So don't forget to share this podcast and spread prophetic guidance.